going on, Jerome's The major question for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings coming out of the bye week is who is going to start a week 14, a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in Las Vegas against the uh, Las Vegas Raiders and also the rest of the season as the 6-6 six and six Vikings look to roll into the playoffs. Uh, is it going to be Josh Dobbs, the passionate, who's had some high highs and some low lows, Nick Mullins, the veteran backup, as well, uh, or is it going to be rookie Jaron Hall? Uh, Wes Phillips, Vikings OC, sh- shed some light on things as uh, the coordinators had their press on Tuesday, uh, Kevin Seifert, ESPN, who is not Carl Gerbschmidt, who is not, uh, quote, uh, Vikings OC Wes Phillips said he anticipates the Vikings confirming their starting quarterback tomorrow when the practice a week formally begins. Kevin O'Connell said last week the Vikings would consider options beyond Josh Dobbs, but that doesn't necessarily mean a change is coming. And it, we, we said our, our, our piece about Josh Dobbs. Thought about it, and the Vikings offensively, they need to gamble. They have to get a spark going, and the worst thing that the Vikings can do is have Josh Dobbs be a pocket quarterback. Right? It's, it's not his game. Use his legs, use his mobility, and you've seen the upside. We, we have seen the upside with Josh Dobbs. He can make plays off script. Uh, he can make things happen Im- improvising, using his legs against the Falcons and the first half against the Saints. I think he got to roll with that. And uh, another, uh, another two weeks of getting him uh, integrated in the offense, which is great. But, I mean, he played better when he didn't know his receivers' names. Mm. Uh, but having Justin Jefferson back will be great. And the Vikings, they haven't had a 300-yard passing game since Kirk Cousins, uh, unfortunately, went out with an injury. they they got to get something going. And I think that the Vikings, the defense is solid. Offensively, they got to try and put up points. They can't continue this uh, conservative whatever. I mean, just not, not try and just try to get to you know, 10 points and try to win a ball game that's not going to cut it uh, the rest of the way or into the playoffs so you, you got to gamble you have to roll the dice with Josh Dobbs Nick Mullins I, I would understand it he's a guy who's been here for two years the entire uh, run uh, of Kevin O'Connell uh, he came over in a trade before the start of last season and he was QB2 coming out of training camp uh, uh, behind Kirk Cousins ahead of rookie Jaron Hall and Nick Mullins like Nick Mullins is not a you know paint by numbers just check it down veteran backup like he will sling it downfield and he does have a decent amount of starting experience uh, from his time with the Niners the and the the Browns as well as the Raiders. Uh, ooh, Nick Mullins revenge game, that that, that sells it, man. Uh, but Jaron Hall. If the Vikings do want uh, a guy who's just going to uh, dump things off and you know take care of the football, which has been an issue for the Vikings the last couple games, Jaron Hall is the guy. I mean, even though, yes, he's a rookie, took care of the ball at BYU, looked good on a second drive against the Falcons. So you can honestly make a case for all three guys. And I think it is a pretty tough decision, but I love and respect that O'Connell and Wes are going to come out on Wednesday and be like, hey, this is the guy. This is going to be the guy starting against the Raiders. We'll see if he's the guy starting the rest of the season, but he's going to get all the first team reps and all the the team is going to rally behind him. The worst thing they could have done is you split up practice reps and just try and play that stupid game uh, with the Raiders and Patrick Rams. Like, oh, you got to prepare for all three. Nah. Nah, nah, get, get, get out of here. But uh, e- either way, whether it's Dobbs, Mullins, or Jaron Hall, just rally around your guy, play good football, play good defense, uh, distribute the ball to his playmakers, and like we said, you do have that X factor with Dobbs. If he takes care of the freaking football and Kevin O'Connell uh, u- utilizes his legs, uh, I think that he is the best option right now. But there's a lot of ifs uh, in, in that statement. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings OC Wes Phillips uh, says that the Vikings will name their starting quarterback tomorrow uh, as practice uh, for Raiders week begins. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in, in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.